And tonight we continue to take a 360 view of the issues. Now, you may not have heard of slot homes, but if you have driven around Denver, you have probably seen one. Now, don't look for the city to sign off on any new ones. The city now is expected to ban all new slot homes, removing what some natives call eyesores, but also removing an affordable option for a lot of middle income families. Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski is digging into all sides of this very heated slot home moratorium debate. <laughs> Like any booming city, growth comes at a cost, more traffic, and higher housing costs. There's a third uglier issue though, Denver's slot houses. It is changing the neighborhoods uh, very quickly. A lot of it boils down to aesthetics. People just don't like the way they look. You know, some of them look really awesome, and then some of them are just like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Two multi-unit buildings on a single lot, facing each other instead of the street. We love living. Uh, in ours. This phenomenon gave Matt Wade options in a red hot real estate market and let him escape the home bidding wars and build new. So it, it really provides um, housing where, you know, it's desperately needed. Facing your neighbors, Wade says, creates a sense of community and no lawn means less work. You know, most of them don't have yards and that's kind of nice. I'm sure there's an upside. But others see this design as disrespectful to longtime neighborhoods like Sloan's Lake and Lower Highland which led to a zoning battle to put an end to this construction. Anyone who's experienced these things basically says things that are probably not uh, safe for camera. <laughs> At the center, Denver City Councilman Rafael Espinoza. He represents Northwest Denver, the communities most impacted by these slot houses. His 360 view is simple. They hurt the character of his part of town. The wholesale uh, gentrification of the area, the loss of character, and the creation of products that are largely disposable um, are, are major concerns, both now and in the future. For now, the anti-slot crowd has won. It couldn't be soon enough. This is such a significant change. A council committee just voted to put a moratorium on new slot home construction starting in March. It doesn't put an end to the urban townhome idea, but units have to be oriented toward the street. We don't want prices to go up, and I think that this is going to affect prices. David Burton with Real Architecture is the developer behind many of these slot homes. He says the original idea was to add density without added cost or the legal concerns over construction defects. Currently, we can fit generally 12 townhomes on a 12,000 square foot lot. The new uh, criteria will only allow approximately eight townhomes on that same 12,000 square foot lot. Less density for the same land, something he says could cost us all. Less housing choices and probably increased prices. An argument Councilman Espinoza denounces. The idea that density is somehow impacted uh, is, is essentially a sort of false um, narrative that some people are using to pressure people. Only time will tell if townhomes really do go away in favor of apartments and duplexes and what kind of impact it could have on booming Denver. It's the right thing to do. It's just uh, a lot too late. Now the full city council still has to sign off on this moratorium, so it's not a done deal, but everything points to this passing. Now we know there are a lot of opinions on this story in your city and your community, and we wanna hear from you, Colorado. If you know someone who is impacted by these changes, or if you are being impacted, email us at 360 at kmgh.com. You can also send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Shannon? 